This is the plaintiff, Pascal Simon. She says she rented a place from the defendant, and when she moved out, she left it in astronomically good shape and clean as a whistle. The opportunist, greedy defendant hasn't returned a security deposit. He's failed to itemize his so-called issues with the condition of the apartment, and she's here suing him for double her security in the amount of $4,350. This is the defendant, John Kleckner. He says the plaintiff failed to give him 30 days required notice. She left holes in the walls and he had to repaint. He's been more than fair with this woman, doesn't owe her a refund, and he's pretty darn sure the judge will agree once she's presented with all the evidence. He's accused of not giving it back. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. The plaintiff left the apartment in astronomically good shape, yet he stiffed her on her security. The defendant says she left holes in the walls. It's the case of I'm the Miss Universe of Tenants. Thank you, Douglas welcome, Pascal Simon. Yes. You were living in an apartment that you rented from Mr. Kleckner, correct? Yeah. And then at some point in September, you decide that you are leaving. I paid him September's rent, and towards the end of September, I realized I can't do it anymore because I've been trying to keep up with the rent, but I came into some financial difficulties. I'm a single mom. I have now four kids, and I can't. How old are you? 37. Okay. And I told, at the time I had three, but I had one on the way. So um, I couldn't, I was working two jobs. You know how to prevent that, right? I just want to know. No, absolutely. Right, absolutely. Okay. Because if you're, <laughs> if you're a single mom and you can't afford the rent, I think maybe four is enough. It, I came into financial difficulties. I was fine. I had two jobs and I'm, I'm an LPN. I was working. I had, he had no problems with me because I paid him the rent every month. And it just became difficult for me in that last few months right, because I understand. so you decided that you were going to leave because you can't afford it and I understand that but what kind of notice right. did you give him because you're required to give notice exactly I gave him there's last, no I'm a single mom exception to the notice yes no 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 right. it's fine okay I gave him literally last minute notice right so it where were you going of, in October I went back to stay with my mother okay um is that where you are now yes okay so you then even though you gave him such little notice, you wanted your security deposit back. Mm, no, I didn't want my whole dis security deposit back. I knew that I did not give him enough notice. I knew I literally told him a week before, and I knew I, that wasn't enough notice for him, and I recognized that with him, and he told me. And I said, so how about you keep my uh, the 1450 rent uh, security, and then I'll stay there until the end of October. And he said, no, you're going to have to give me a uh, whole another month's rent. I said, but the reason why I'm leaving is because I can't afford it. I said, so then fine. I have short, short uh, notice for you, so I apologize, but I can't stay. Okay. So the security deposit, though, was more than your rent, right? Yeah. It was 2175 A month and a half. Is that correct, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Now, um, you kept, you have kept a big chunk of that, and I need you to tell me what are the reasons that you kept it. Um, it's, it's specifically spelled out in the letter that I sent her with the refund that she received. So what you refunded to her was $591. Do you still have that check? I do. All right. And you were saying to her in that letter, look, I'm taking out of your deposit the rent for the next month, because you didn't give me adequate notice. And I'm also taking out two other items. What were the two other items? Well, it's minor damages, uh, me meaning that the holes in the walls, which I have pictures, she May was aware. May I see aware. the pictures of the holes in the walls? Did you already submit those into evidence? Yes. OK. Um, a, a broken window. Hold on one second. Yeah, I don't have pictures for you. So can you show me the pictures of the evidence? I have her pictures, not yours. What am I looking at there? It's hard to tell. Yes, it, it's supposed to show uh, some holes that are filled in. Uh, there, there were maybe about 50 holes uh, that I did in, in three rooms. And I, being that she was becoming very uh, disgruntled with me, uh, I wanted to keep the, the cost way down so she wouldn't there take There were also some court. decals that you admit having left behind that pulled out some chunk of 
wall. Yeah, that was in the hallway, in the entranceway. Right. I took some decals off, and the, some of the paint came off with it. That's it. Oh, the holes in the walls, 30, 50 holes. In, I don't know what he's talking about, because I literally, whatever I hung up, I hung it up with thumbtacks. So I came into the apartment with a huge number of nails, which I also had to take out because I have kids and it was a, a, a hazard to them. So what, nails I, were a hazard to your kids? There were, there were nails all over, all yeah, over the wall, sticking what? out the walls. From the prior tenant? Yes. How are those a hazard to your kid? Because I have small kids and it's all on the walls all over the apartment in different places. Do you have pictures of that? No, I didn't take pictures, but. All right, so how much did you withhold for the walls and only three hundred dollars. Walls filling. Who painting. filled up the holes? You did. I did them personally. Yes. Correct. So why did you withhold three hundred dollars? Didn't cost you three hundred dollars. You, uh, you, you're asking me to value your time at well, three hundred dollars. Well, in, in w with my help, I assisted, uh, just supervising did what had to be done to get this place back on the okay, market so did, as soon who's, as possible. Who, who decided to paint that wall that color? Is that that's that she didn't do that? No. Right. I got it. Okay. So um, so you have a helper who's on duty, or you hired him? Like, in other words, do you have a bill to show me? Uh, I, I hired him. Do you have yeah. a bill? Did you pay him? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't have So you don't have proof of what you paid. All right, now, there was also a window that you say was broken. Is that, I don't see a picture of that. Yes, I, I thought I had a picture, and I do not and have And according one. to you, um, you didn't break a window. I don't, I didn't. To my knowledge, I didn't break any windows. Okay. And also, I have a text from my downstairs neighbor at the time, who's no longer there, who sent me a text literally two, two three days after I left seeing and that. And those would be in the file called squatters. Squatters. Squatters, which according to your neighbor, somebody's been sleeping in your bed or in, whatever. In one of the bedrooms. And who, who is this gentleman here in this photograph? Take a look at that. Do you recognize that man? Uh, that, that's uh, Alan, my helper. Oh, okay. Well, and who's that young lady? And that's his girlfriend. Okay, so they, are you aware that they're staying there with the dog? Y yes, I am. Oh, okay, okay. So they're not squatters. They're whoever he has living there. I, I, I want to add that the broken window was in her son's room, uh, which is the corner Is it room. the glass that was broken? Yes. So don't you have the repair bill for that? Um, I have it, but I didn't bring it. She, she was aware well, of that. Well, that's good enough for you. Then I guess it's good enough for me. Uh, if you don't feel you have to prove it, then I don't feel I have to find it. I mean, you know, this is what, what do you think that getting that kind of receipt was for? It's to prove it when everything hits a fan like it's doing now. Mm. Also, according to you, he told you I have 90 days to return your deposit. That's what Did you, you said. tell her that? Yes. That's not true. Mm -hmm. 30 days. Mm-hmm. Uh, th 30 days is... Yeah, it's not 90 days, it's 30 days. That's New Jersey law? Yeah. And not only that, let me let you in on some more secrets about New Jersey. <clears throat> so if a tenant nails holes in the wall to put paintings on, is that something the landlord has to eat or does the tenant have to pay for repaint? Oh, you fix the holes, you don't have to repaint. Um, is that something that goes along for the ride or does the tenant have to pay? I think unless it's in your contract, you should be able to put a hole in the wall. I mean, you're nailing a painting to the wall. Um, unless you have to repaint it, it should be something that's fine. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. New Jersey is one of those states that has a punishment for landlords who don't abide by the 30 days. And what they do is they allow that, that side to sue for double the net wrongfully withheld money. In other words, if you don't pay back the security deposit and or pay back the portion you owe with an explanation of what you're keeping and why within the 30 days, then whatever you owe after I figure it all out in court gets doubled. All right, so let's discuss what we have here. First of all, you can't just give no notice because, you know, there's, like I said, there's no I'm a single mom exception. I understand that you were in, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but that doesn't always cost somebody else. You no, understand? No, I understand. So on that 2175, um, well, you understand, but you're suing for double 2175, which makes me think you don't understand. No, I but. actually sent him a text message stating to him that I was, you know, willing to give you the 1450 because of the late notice. I expected at least the 725, the half months rent back. Okay. But you also acknowledge, though, that there was some damage to the wall. No, he never showed no, me. No, you said that when you ripped oh, out he, some decals. Yes, yes, the decals for sure. But 
I didn't come into a freshly painted apartment. So for him to charge for uh, matching paint $300, that made no sense to me. And I left and I looked over the apartment. I did not see anything broken. I cleaned it better than the condition that I found it in. And so when he, when I spoke to him over the phone, he said there was a broken window. And I said, okay, if you say there's a broken window, but I don't know. Uh, Your, Your Honor, the, the place was filthy in comparison. Uh, every window I had to take out and clean. There's so much. I spent days on the place. Do you place have any proof of that? Trying to bring it back. Because all I have is this. Do you have any proof of the things you're saying? Have uh, pictures? I, I didn't Video? take a picture of the. It was right. trivial. You know, right. it, well, it's just like the windows. I didn't want right. to uh, charge her. We're done, folks. You know. Here's how it's yeah. going to work. I'm going to do the math, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to figure out what part has been wrongfully withheld. We start off with the following figure, 2,175. When we're determining what's wrongfully withheld, mm -hmm. because you're asking me to double it, I have to start clean from what he could have taken, et cetera. Okay. First of all, what he can take is 1450 in rent. That leaves the 725, like okay. you said, that you wanted. You feel that he took too much for the paint spackling or whatever. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel he did too, mm -hmm. all right? So I'm going to deduct from that. I'm going to allow him to deduct from that, but not 300. Mm -hmm. I'm going to allow him to deduct 150. That leaves me with 575 that should have been returned to you, uh, even if I don't count a window that there's no proof of a broken window. So if 575 should have been returned to you and 591 was, then where's the problem? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, he gave you a check for 591. Mm -hmm. So you're solid. You don't get any more here. Do you understand? Yeah, I hear you. OK. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. So the judge decides that the plaintiff is ahead of the game. What are you thinking about this? What just happened? Um, I'm upset about it. He wait. made me wait. I'm no having reason. trouble hearing you, and I'm right next to I you. Know. He, he <laughs> had me wait for no reason. I left the apartment in very good condition. It took me about two weeks to just clean up the mess from the prior tenants, and I left it in very good shape. And for him to tear, tear me down and try to say that I left it the way that he's saying that, yeah. is, it's upsetting because I really left it, and I have the pictures to prove it. All right. Sorry, right, that's the judge's verdict. Thank okay. You. Anyway, as we said, you're 16 bucks ahead of the game. All right, Mr. Klugner, I think you've learned, if you'll step over here, sir, please. You learned a little bit about New Jersey law for landlords, right? I assume so, even though I've been uh, told by other landlords, not an attorney, that the 30-day rule does hold. But the judge says differently, so no, I take her said, word. No, you said it was 90 days. You I'm thought. sorry, 90, yeah. correct. And it is yeah. 30, is right. Correct. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Got to have receipts for the stuff. Yes, you do. <laughs> Got to have receipts, is right. All right, Harvey. Doug, uh, the penalties for landlords who don't follow the security deposit laws vary. Some states, you just get what you're out. In some states, you can get up to three times the amount you're out. 